Good morning. I'm a few minutes late. I was still um, recovering from last night a little bit. So <laughs> as you can see, the setup hasn't changed. The disco ball is still in its rightful place. Um, we're just waiting to be turned on again. Good morning. If you're here, say hi. I'd love to know who's watching. Um, hope you guys all had a nice, restful night of sleep and that you are that your day is off to a good start. Uh, if anything sounds weird or anything at any time, just let me know. Good morning. Oh, I was like, turn it on. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, hi, Paul. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Brian. Hey, Dan. Oh, my gosh. Thank you guys so much for being here. A lot of you here were up with me late last night, too, streaming uh, covers and celebrating. We got 25 members in the lounge. Hi, Steven. And it was a really, really fun day of music, night of music. You guys were with me last night, and you're with me this morning. That's amazing. You guys are amazing. Um, cool. <clears throat> Well, since we did covers all day yesterday, today I'm going to do some originals for you. And these are uh, the first uh, couple I'm going to play are ones that I haven't played in quite a while, so I'm excited to bring them back out. They've gotten a little dusty, so it's time to dust them off and bring them back to life. So here we go. Hey, Patrick. a song I wrote called Mountain Song. <clears throat> These stones are hard beneath my feet. The earth is pounding under me. A distant bird is echoing the song it sings. I'm climbing higher This is what I'm wired to do I feel it burning But I'm still yearning To cover every inch of you These roots are firm Beneath my feet The trees are towering over me Dickling breeze turns into wind, it's taunting me. I'm climbing higher, this is what I'm wired to do. I feel it burning, but I'm still yearning to cover every inch of you.
Hey, Dan. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Jean. Hi, everybody. Yeah, that was Mountain Song. That's on my second record called There Is Light. It's on all streaming platforms if you want to listen to it. I think most of you who are tuning in right now have probably already heard of it, but uh, if anyone who's new joins us and wants to listen, it is out there. It was really cool singing that because that I'm looking out a window over this way, right, right, there's a mountain right in my line of vision, so I felt like I was singing to the mountain. <laughs> okay, Brian wanted me to turn the disco ball on. We can do that. There are no rules here, you know? Like, I make the rules, so. <laughs> now it's a party. Now it's a party. Ah, uh, I know. Makes me want to go hiking, too. It's like, I went for a hike a couple of weeks ago, and I made a little video of my hiking journey. And I posted it on TikTok and maybe Instagram, maybe uh, Facebook, I think, too. And um, it's so funny, because when I sing the song, it's like so romantic, and it really romanticizing hiking. And then I go hiking, and I'm like, oh, I always forget how hard this is. But that's the point of the song. Like, things are hard, but it's worth it, man. It is so worth it. Thank you, Steven. Glad it's inspiring you to go hiking. You should. I don't know what the weather's like today where everybody is, but it's nice here. It looks nice. The sun's coming out. The clouds are clearing. So it's going to be a good day. All right. Actually, keep this on here. Here's one I haven't done in a while. I do have a surprise to give away today. I'm not going to do it yet. But all you guys who are watching, who are members of the lounge, I've added your name to my heart box for today's surprise giveaway. So stay tuned. <clears throat> this is a song I haven't played in a while, but I like playing this song. This is Bring on the Fire. They say, when will you learn if you play with fire? You're gonna get burnt but if you don't you may never feel the heat at all i'd rather burn alive than be too afraid to fall bring on the fire there was a rebel of a man down in tennessee was told only whites drink this tap for free he sat down poured a glass Anyway, in court a week later, he was shackled in chains. Said, Yeah, I'm gonna do it again. Drink that water till my dying day. And they said, When will you learn if you play with fire? You're gonna get. You may never feel the heat at all I'd rather burn alive than be too afraid to fall Bring on the fire She loved him with all of her might Didn't care that her skin was white They got married in the hot sun Thought she was crazy, losing her mind, but she kept her heels and her head held high, said that love was worth her life. When will we learn? When Too afraid to, too afraid to. 
thank you, Dan. That's so nice. This one, I actually recorded this one twice, so I think it's one of my favorites too. And so many different stories and people influenced this song, like influenced some of the lyrics. So it's a fun song for me to play because it just makes me think about so many different things. And that's what songwriting is like sometimes. Like sometimes I sit down and I write a song about one moment in time or just one thing that I've experienced. And other times, I one song ends up being this kind of like mix or medley of all of these different influences and people and things. And it's just a really fun process. And then when you play it, it just brings, you know, new things every time. Thank you, guys. I love all the emojis that you're sending. It makes me feel like you're clapping. Well, it like, I was going to say, it makes me feel like I'm in front of a live audience. I am in front of a live audience. But you know what I mean? Like, it's so... It's nice seeing your claps. I'm like, oh, people are clapping because I'm just sitting in a room by myself. And it's very quiet down here, aside from my own voice. <laughs> so thank you for your encouragement. What's everyone drinking this morning? What do we got going on? I've got my three drinks going as per typical. I've got my tea, my latte, and my water. If you're new here, Kind of my thing. I'm, I just always have a lot of drinks around me at all times. <laughs> it's good to stay hydrated, folks. Pepsi Zero. Wow, you are you're getting ready for the day. Good for you. I guess I am too with my latte. Tea. Oh, good. Another another trio drink person. Water, OJ, and latte. Decaf latte. It's nice waking up with you guys. <laughs> All right, it's May, which means it's Mother's Day month. So I thought I would write, I would play the song that I wrote for my mama. It's called Stitch by Stitch. Doctor, doctor, put your gloves on. This one's gonna be a big one. We're starting a new life today. Starting a new life today. Lay down slowly, mama. It'll only be a little longer. You're gonna need some stitches, but your baby's gonna be okay. And she went stitch by stitch, and fold by fold, yeah. The things she's making. They have been slow yet. Hey, Eric, happy birthday month. The blanket that you cuddle up with, the heart-shaped pillow that brings you comfort, all the costumes you dressed up in, the hemming on your pants today. She's got you stitch by stitch and fold by fold, yeah. The things she's making, they have been slow, yeah. Stitch by stitch and fold by fold. She may never tell you, but she wants you to know, yeah. She may never tell you, but she wants you to know, oh.
she may never tell you, but she wants you to know, yeah. She may never tell you, but she wants you to know. That one's also on my second record, There Is Light. It's called Stitch by Stitch. <laughs> I was laughing because my mom is watching, and I sang a couple of the words differently. And every time I, every time I play with a song or sing anything a little different, she's like, you changed it. Why'd you change it? <laughs> she's going to be like, why'd you sing it different? Why'd you change it? Eric, when's your birthday? What day is it? I know it's your birthday month. All right, Eric would like us to sing happy birthday to him. So I need everybody to join me for this. All right? I'm trusting that you're going to sing along with me. There's going to be a test. Just kidding. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Day, dear Eric, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday month, Eric. It's Paul's birthday month too. Happy birthday, dear Paul. Happy birthday to you. Anybody else? <laughs> Happy birthday month. I also like that you guys are like me and you like to celebrate the whole month of your birthday. I do that as well. Happy birthday. So, fun. so much fun. Okay. So I have a couple more songs for you. I might go a little bit over 1130, but I just want, I want to play these. I have two more songs for you that I want to play. And I want to give you... Oh, Eric, it's today? It's today? Happy birthday, Eric. I didn't realize it was like today. Okay, can't pull. I was trying to pull up the comment. Uh, yeah, I also have a song. Oh, there it is. I also have a song called Daddy's Song. You can find that too. That's on my first record. <laughs> They both got a song, you know, because they're both amazing, truly. All right, so I'm going to play a song called Starlights, which I wrote a couple months ago, maybe a month ago, I'm not sure. And I wrote it inspired by the Starlight Lounge. I wrote it for members of the Starlight Lounge. I recorded a whole produced version in my home studio, and it's available for download for anyone who's a member of the Starlight Lounge. If you want to become a member of the Starlight Lounge, it's super easy. You just click the link in the description of this video or the link below my face and you sign up. There's five levels that you can sign up at, $2, $5, and this is a monthly, $2 a month, five, 10, 15, or 25. And no matter what level you decide to sign up at, you get the same access as everybody else in the lounge. So I encourage you to check it out, see what it's all about. Um, and then you get um, a lot of stuff for being part of the lounge. And one of the things you get is this song. And we will be making a music video for this song together, which I'm super stoked about. And so, yeah, I'm going to play this song and then we'll do the surprise giveaway. I'm so glad, Eric. Happy birthday. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, here we go. is dark and quiet I look up and see you smiling your eyes remind me that we're still shining no matter where life takes us we'll be fine we are starlights shine from the inside keeping dreams alive your starlight <clears throat> when my light is dimmed and fading 
speak to my heart, reminding me that even a little bit of glitter can be enough to light up the whole sky. Cause we are starlight shining from the inside keeping dreams alive we are starlight we are starlight Gather all you hungry hearts, let's come alive tonight. All we need's a lot of love and a little bit of light. I get a whole lot brighter when I feel your hand in mine. Join us in the open sky where all of us can shine. Cause we are starlights. Shining from the inside, keeping dreams alive. We starlight. We starlight. We starlight. Starlight, we are starlight. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so speaking of that song and starlights, all of you members of the Starlight Lounge. I refer to you in my mind and when I'm talking <laughs> as starlights. So hello, starlights. I made I just got a message that said, please let me know. It seems to be okay. Um, so I made something. I'm looking at it right now, and it cracked overnight. That's why I'm, like, pausing a little bit. <laughs> but that's, you know, it's natural wood, and I guess that's what happens with natural wood. But uh, this, honestly, I'm really excited to give this away, though, because I worked on it for, like, five hours, I think, this took me. And I wood-burned my favorite lyric onto this piece. So this is my favorite lyric from the Starlight's song that I wrote. Even a little bit of glitter can be enough to light up the whole sky. And I love this lyric because um, I just feel like this is relevant to everything. Like, it can be so easy to feel like, oh, like, I don't have enough of whatever that is. Or, oh, like, things aren't as big or, or like, exciting as I want them to be right now. Or, I don't know. And, and this is, I feel like, to me, this lyric is a reminder that all it takes is a little bit of something and it can add up to so much. Like what you do with the little bit you have can yield so much greater things that you never even thought were possible. And so to not be discouraged when you feel like, oh, like, you know, why don't I have X, Y, Z yet? Or, you know, why don't I have that house yet? Why don't I have that? I don't know, whatever it is for you. Um, and this is kind of a reminder that it's okay. Like, you know, love where you're at, do the best you can with what you have, and it only takes a little bit. Everything starts small. Everything starts small. Um, and so with the lounge, I feel like this lyric takes on a whole different meaning too because what I love about Patreon, which is what I host the Starlight Lounge out of, 
is that you don't need, like, I don't need one person to come give me, you know, hundreds of dollars or anything. Like, I'm not asking one person for a ton of money, but if everybody comes al alongside of me and donates just a little bit, like, that helps me so much. And so that's why I made the lowest level $2, because $2 is so helpful. Like, if a lot of people join and give two dollars that adds up to so much so it's just really special and it means so much to me every single person that has decided to join the lounge and contribute any any amount at all like i am so 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 grateful for you and not even like money aside coming back to this lyric like even just the the people who are in the lounge right now like you guys have just been already so supportive in so many ways and i don't just mean financially like you're showing up for things you're sending me nice messages you're encouraging me like you're just you are supporting me so much and i'm so grateful and it might feel like a little thing when you leave a comment or send me a little private message on instagram it might feel like nothing to you but to me it's everything so i just love you guys i'm excited to give this away i hope you're excited about it Without further ado, let's pick a winner. I'm sorry that it cracked, but it's, you know, it's just even, even, you know, it's just a reminder that when things in life have cracks in them or things don't come out perfectly, you know, nothing's perfect and that's okay. It doesn't have to be. So see what I did there? The crack gives it even more meaning. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so this is my giveaway box. I have added everyone's names who joined us in the lounge yesterday. We had four new people yesterday, guys. That was so crazy. I'm just gonna mix it up for good measure. I'm so nervous, who's it gonna be? Jane! Jane Guverma and her son Chris. So, oh my God. Hi. I don't know if Jane's watching. They were on for a lot of the day yesterday. Um, Chris is actually, a, he was a student of mine back in the day when I was still relatively new to teaching and I've stayed in touch with him and his family and they're all so awesome. They're so great and um, Yay. Hi, Jane. All right, so Jane and Chris, you guys are the winner of today's Starlight giveaway. So I will be sending this to you. Congratulations. So awesome. Love it. Yes, Eric, I do know Jessica Olson. That's my cousin. <laughs> um, that's so funny. Ah, I just like hanging out with you guys. I like spending my mornings with you guys. So I've been doing these Starlight uh, surprises every Saturday during the month of April to celebrate launch month of the lounge. And I today is supposed to be the last one. Like when I initially had this idea of Starlight surprises, I was like, oh yeah, and then at the end of the month, I'll do my last surprise giveaway and then I still want to do them, but just not like weekly. But I've been really enjoying them. So I'm trying to figure out what the new schedule will be. I definitely still want to do the Starlight Surprise. Um, I just, I'm not sure, I'm not sure when. So I will, so stay tuned, because I have a bunch of things that I'm planning um, for the upcoming weeks, like different series of shows that I want to start and different things I want to start doing. So I'm just kind of trying to figure out like, what will be a good schedule for all of it. So please stay tuned. We will continue doing the Starlight Surprise on some level of frequency. So I will keep you posted on all of that. Um, this last song that I'm going to play is a song called Getting Lucky. It's not recorded anywhere. I did write it, I wrote it recently, and I wanna play it because it's a song about how when people become successful, everyone's like, oh my God, they're successful. Like, when did that happen? It was overnight success. And my aunt and I laugh about this because she is an author. And so she, you know, she works so hard at what she does. And then people are like, wow, 
you're like so successful, like it just happened. And she's like, well, I like worked really hard for it. And that's the, that's true all the time. Like there's no such thing as just boom. I mean, maybe, maybe there is, there is such thing, but it's not, I would say the typical, uh, typical pattern of the way things happen. So I put out a video last week and a blog post about independent music, what it means to be an independent artist, um, all of the different kind of hats that I wear in this career and things that I do. And I thought that this song kind of went along with that video pretty well. <laughs> so it's kind of just a, a funny song, a play on, yeah, if you work hard enough, you too could be really lucky. <laughs> and also what this song makes me think of my grandfather used to say that like, you know, cause he had seven children and he, they, they were doing like pretty well for themselves. Like they had this, you know, healthy and positive family and people would say to him, wow, you're so lucky. Like, man, you have a great family. You've got this house, like you're so lucky. And he would just be like, hey, I mean, if you, you too could get lucky, like you just gotta put a lot of effort in. And so this song always makes, makes me think of him too. Um, hey, Amanda, I see your comment. Uh, thank you. Do you, if you can, can you link the video to that YouTube video in the comments for everybody? Putting her on the spot. <laughs> and that way, if you guys haven't seen the little video that I did about being an independent artist, um, you can, you can watch it. Okay. Without further ado, this song is called Getting Lucky. <clears throat> enough maybe I'll get lucky if I always stay up late to meet all the right people in the scene if I just never ever sleep maybe I'll get lucky Oh my gosh, 
that's just a fun song that I wrote about live in the dream and all of you work hard all of you are hard workers and I'm sure we've all felt that way sometimes like I'm working so hard like do they do they and you know you work so hard and it doesn't matter if it's music or if it's an office job or if it whatever it is you work so hard but people only see the, the finished product like they only see the timesheet they only see you know and it's just it's just a funny thing oh my gosh Dan congratulations Dan's finishing grad school in a few weeks that is amazing like what an accomplishment good for you that's so exciting yeah and you know school is like that too because like you you say I'm in school and everyone's like oh that's cool you're in school and you're like no I'm in school this is hard <laughs> and then they're only gonna see the you know you'll have like the diploma but they don't see all of the hours and hours and hours of hard work behind the scenes and so um solidarity with you all I see you I I see you um, Eric, I see your message about Matt Connerton show. I would love to go on that. Send me a message so that I don't forget that date that you said. Send me a um, Facebook message. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're watching this and you haven't checked out the Starlight Lounge yet, we're building a really fun community there. We're doing some cool stuff. I'm giving away some exclusive things in the lounge soon that won't be available anywhere else. And you can join for as low as $2 a month and then there's other levels too that you can choose but it's really whatever you feel led to contribute at this time and i would be really grateful to have you join our community um and i'm just really excited about everything that we're doing i'm so excited i hope you guys are excited as i am <laughs> uh uh thank you guys so much again enjoy your saturday and again stay tuned for I'm going to be announcing some new show series coming up soon and new things that I'm going to be launching. So keep your eyes peeled. I think most of you follow me on socials already, but if you don't, do it. Sign up for the mailing list. I'm going to be making some fun announcements. So have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful weekend. And thanks for choosing to start your weekend with me. Bye.